Mall. Scoreboard 
Cars, ladies and gentlemen. You see the start list for the final, the Sobe Men's 800. Starting on the inside, you, and he won this meet back in 1999, Kadivas Robinson. In lane three, representing the U.S. Air Force, along. In lane six, representing the NCAA champion in 1999 while running for Missouri. And this year, he won the United States National Indoor Championships, Derek Peterson. And on the outside, in lane eight, representing Nike, a member of our Olympic team at 1,500 meters in Sydney last year while competing for Stanford. He won the Pac-10 championships and was fourth in the NCAA championships as well. This is... Strutzel, Peterson, and Stember. Strutzel running the turn well in six. They break for the pole now. Stutzel on the inside. Michael Stutzel. And then Strutzel. And Peterson. And Stutzel. And it is going to be Rumenacker and Robinson. Peterson and Stutzel. And that appeared to be Jeff DeLong. Foul on the last throw. Well, the crowd got into it because you did. Congratulations, my man. And the Johnson scoreboard clock says 228. Loud, with a capital L. For seeing the coach in 90s. And there is the Johnson scoreboard. The start list is on the Pitch Thompson scoreboard in lane one. This year's Eastern Collegiate Champion and NCAA runner-up from Princeton University, University of Florida, now competes for night in lane two. Champion four. Adam Settler. Third in this event last year, representing New Balance, Jen Toomey. In lane five, a two-time former NCAA 1500 meter champion from the Appalachian State, now competing for Nike. Nike. She was the runner-up in our national indoor cha championships this year, Mary Jane.
No, thank you, Parker. That is the result of the second year. Playing some help in the triple jump. If I may draw your attention to the infield once again. Contestants, the event number DC champion from Florida, Matt Vincent. From Abilene Christian, the Texas Relays champion, Terrence Wood. All champion while in Nebraska, Shane. Representing Nike, a Sydney Olympian with a three-meet nationals winning streak alive. Indoors, outdoors, indoors, he's your Nippur. No American has ever jumped high. As we go to the second height of the day, 13 nine events remaining in. Next on the track will be the two semifinals of the... You see the start list for the first semifinal on the Pitch Johnson scoreboard. The top four in each semifinal will advance to the final to be held later on this afternoon. In lane one, competing on attack, third in the Pac-10 championships this year for UCLA, Charles Ryan. In lane two, from South Carolina, fifth in the SEC meet and eighth in the NCAA indoor championships, Corey Taylor. In lane three, representing Alabama, a two-time NCAA champion for the Crimson Tide. This year he won the NCAA indoor title as well, Ron Bramlett. In lane four, representing the New East, a three-time world champion, 1996 Olympic champion, and an American. Man. In lane seven, representing Adidas, the NCAA runner-up for Tennessee in 1999. He was third in this meet last year, world year. Johnson and from a seven and thirteen thirty eight corrected now. On the scoreboard, well, you did see the results on the scoreboard with Bramlett finishing in third with Wallace fourth and correction on that discus leader. And Jansen the vaulter, Tora Harris the high jumper. On the scoreboard are Ramsey, 12 champion championships this year as well, Jermaine Cooper. In lane three, representing the 98 NCAA champion for Texas A&M, Nate Gramitz. Remind you again that women's 5,000 very close for third and a wind of 2.3 meters per second over the allowable as Larry Wade is the winner here in fourth over 13 nine and a quarter and two and a quarter five men over this opening height
City Long Beach State. Winner of this year's Steve Scott Invitational, John O'Neill. Competing unattached, former world junior champion. He was the NCAA champion while at Colorado State. At 218.5, he's the farthest American so far this year, Tacey Malone. Representing him. Two-time Big Sky Champion while in Northern Arizona, this year's Sun Angel Classic winner, Nick Petrucci. Woo! Also from the Bronco Track Club, a three-time Big West Champion for Boise State, this year's Fresno Relays Champion, Jared Rowe. Competing unattached, he's finished in the top eight in this meet four years in a row, Carl Brown. Representing Adidas, he was second in the shot last night in that incredibly exciting competition. In the discus, he's a former national junior champion, three-time Pac-10 champion, two-time NCAA champion, and national champion for UCLA. He's a two-time Olympian in this event, the best combination thrower in the world, John Godina! Representing Nike, he's a two-time Olympian also. He's our defending national champion, Adam Setlam. <laughs> and last in the order, competing on the test, former national junior champion, former national junior college champion, and Pac-10 champion for Arizona, Doug Reynolds. The triple jump, and... No win, that is a new stadium record by exactly two with eight men remaining in the competition. Stacy Dragila yet to wall, she has passed the first two heights. This is 14 one and a quarter semi-final of the Verizon men's, a former national indoor champion, representing Adidas, Ramon conference champion in Arkansas, Little Rock, Leo Settle. Lane seven will be vacant, and in lane eight, a former Atlantic Coast Conference champion, while at University. And fans will remind you it's 1.30. We're one hour away from going live on ESPN2. Jump bar now going to 7-6. Five men cleared the previous height. 
Charles Austin will move on to hold Starting the finals now. All right, starting the second Burns, flight now. Flight of the men's triple jump. Mel Miller on the vault. Uh, and a clearance on her second attempt. Uh, Nike, proud sponsor of USA Track and Field. Just do it. for Charles Austin. Let's have a big hand for this super vet. Tracy O'Hara on the vault run. Don, the guy that works. Then 190.2 from Malone, 185.4 from Matucci. And that will bring into the ring Jared Rome. <laughs> Harris, the high jumper, second try at 7 6. This is for Harris and Holiday. Gary Sauer on the Walt runway. Starting the third and final round of attempts at 14 one and a quarter, Nathan Leap. And it comes through for Mary Sauer. Some help for now representing Adidas, Jennifer Michelle. Wearing hip number two, defending champion, the Olympic trials runner-up Lisa Nye. Wearing hip six, representing Stanford, she was 12th in the NC for Purdue, Barbara Wenger. And fourth in the NCAA championships as well this year, Molly DeFrancesco. Here we go, we have the women's steeple. Michelle Ormond and Elizabeth Jackson as we come down the main straightaway. Hemingway, Klinger, and Leeper, the three remaining. Michelle Jackson and Molly D. Francesco as we head down the back stretch. Raise it, and for the first jump here is Nathan Leeper. And over the first water jump here in the steeplechase, Jennifer Michelle representing Adidas. Jackson. And Jackson challenging for and taking the lead here with just a little under six laps remaining. Charles Klinger, first attempt, stadium record, holiday in the ball. Back to Laura Turner as we come down the main straightaway. Don Cleary following Turner. There will be five laps remaining as they come by the start-finish line here. And Elizabeth Jackson on the inside, Molly D. And a miss for the NC2A champion. He will end up fifth. Former American record holder. She's run 949-41. She's moved into third position here. Molly D. Francesco and least up to fourth position. Ormond, former Brigham Young star, has now moved to seventh position. Followed by Laura Turner of Stanford. John Godina moves into third in the discus. 202-2. Andrea Wildrick on the wall runway. And here's Charles Klinger, the high jumper. Jackson. Heading back. And in the discus, Adam Sutton will bruise his lead to 2091. We're down to the last thrower in the second flight, Doug Reynolds. Matt. Did you 
the second over, but she takes the lead. Ladies and gentlemen, doing a great job here. Elizabeth Jackson, the American record holder, being pursued by Lisa Nye. No, she doesn't. There you go. Seven, seven and a quarter. And our steeplechase champion on the victory stand, this is Elizabeth Jackson, 947.35 for Jackson. Don't know whether she heard, but that... Well, there's a lot of great steeplers. Elizabeth Jackson, 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 Start the finals. Stop. 